Robert Knox in the house, uh, the characters, if you're a fan of the show, and also how do you uh, focus with the adaptation? I mean, it's cameras around every day. It's just a few more. It is what it is. We still got to come out here and go to work. Have you watched the show in the past? Yeah. Two, two, three years ago, someone says you're going to have a ring. You're going to read the words the highest paid offensive lineman in NFL history. What would you say? I would have believed him. I always believed it about myself. And you, you spent time kind of in Vegas with Von Miller uh, at, the, at the Rush camp. What did that do for you? Because he, he'd obviously praised you a lot in the past. So what, what did that experience for you? Uh, that was the second one I've been, been to. I've, that was the third they've, that he's had. Um, I couldn't go the second one to the second one because of the birth of my daughter. But um, it's really just a lot of invaluable, invaluable information out there. Um, I'm learning from them. They're learning from me. And uh, just trying to get better, everybody. In terms of organization, intensity, a business-like atmosphere, is this similar at all to a New England Patriots game? I mean, we're trying to get the culture to match theirs and, and hopefully take it to another level. Uh, did that jump out at you as soon as you got there, the way that they did things like, wow? Oh, yeah, for sure. You, I mean, it is, you can just feel it, the energy when you walk in the building. Like, they expect greatness, and, and you got to do great things, and that's why they're in the Super Bowl year in, year out. Played a left tackle at a really high level last year. Coming back to right, how uh, does your experience at left help Colton when you're mentoring him? Um, tackle is tackle. They got great rushers on both sides. Um, I can just give them the best knowledge that I have and share with all the guys, and hopefully we can get the whole group to be better. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not trying to harbor any, any information. I'm trying to share it with everybody, and and so we can win. That's the that's the sole focus, sole main goal. What kind of things have you been helping? Them? Um, I think Colton has it all. He just has to get it in his mind that he has it and, and just have the confidence in himself to go out and do it. How's it been building chemistry with uh, Gabe Jackson and what is key to, to developing? Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a good year for that right side. Yeah. yeah. What, what type of the valuable information you got out of that pass rush summit? I mean, it's just different moves different alignments, different guys, different body types, different athletic abilities. Like, I mean, it's just a, a lot of information that, that to help me, and I gave as best as I could back to help them. What was the biggest uh, jump for you between year one and year two when it came to pass protection? Looking back on your career, second year, what was the um, I've always kind of been gifted athletically, so a lot of things came easy to me, and I, I got long arms, long, long first step, um, and so it was really just putting it all together and the confidence from year one to year two. That's that's what really picked up, and I had the confidence to go out there, and I didn't care who was out there in front of me. I was going, I'm trying to whoop their ass. Yeah. Was How there you... a certain game that you remember, or a certain play that helped, like you point back? I really, I really think it was those last five starts of my rookie year. When I started the last, those last five games, and and I went into that off season with the mindset, you can do this shit. It's easy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's go. And that's how, how I like approach my training. With, uh, Derek, and how does Derek compare to uh, the QB you worked with last year? I mean, Tom is the goat. Derek, Derek Carr is Derek Carr. We're trying to, if if anybody gets the opportunity to be upright and healthy in this league, you know what I mean? You can make plays, and that's what we're trying to do up front. Not really. I mean, Gruden is a lot more alive, <laughs> and Belichick is. I mean, yeah, Belichick. When you were growing up as little kids, so both the linemen weren't getting paid like they're getting paid now. Why are the uh, the shift in the, in the whole change in the value of the linemen and, and, and the pay and so forth? I mean, when you're when you're paying those guys across the ball that type of money, and you're paying, you got to pay us to stop them. It's just, it's just, it's only right. So tomorrow the pads come on. How do you, how do you review that? Are you excited about the, the you know, what does that mean? More it's, uh, pass rush drills, things that nature? Uh, really, it's, I don't give a damn if we got pads on or not. It's football, it's football. It's, we put our body on the line for a living. Uh, I'm still going to come off the ball the same, and it's just, it is what it is. It's just pads now. So you prove yourself as the greatest underdog. Can you talk about that mentality a little bit? Um, I, I just feel like I've been put on the back burner my whole life. Uh, me, just from being a seven-round draft pick to now, um, 
and, and even through the process, people try to dim my light. Uh, and, and this is my shirt right here, the TV77 Greatest Underdog. Uh, it, it, it's, it explains itself, Greatest Underdog. I was drafted in the seventh round, and I'm the highest paid offensive lineman in NFL history. And I mean, that's a testament to the work and, the, and just the, how, the way I go about my everyday life, how I treat people and how I sow good seeds. And I, I'm reaping the harvest of my everyday work. Dave says, too, yesterday that your Super Bowl experience and the culture that you try to bring here, you're not the biggest vocal leader, but you lead by example, right? Whether it's in the weight room or on the field. Talk about why you just want to let your actions speak louder than words. Um, really, I just grew up. My dad's not a man of many words, but his his actions speak for him. And when he says something, everybody knows it's his Bible. You know what I mean? Uh, and I just I just learned from him. If, if a whole lot of talking ain't never really intriguing to nobody, it shouldn't be anyway. If your actions are on point, that's all you should be looking at you, from anybody. When you win it and you sign that kind of contract, then where does the motivation come to get to know you've been at the top of what it feels like? Where's the motivation come now? I mean, I just I want more, uh, and then I feel like people think I'll get the money and just become lazy. But no, I want another huge contract. I want more rings. I want to, you know, what I mean, I I want more of everything. I'm thirsty for it. A couple more guys. What'd you say? I haven't. I haven't. Josh Morrow, yeah, Josh Morrow and Max. Any your impressions, especially Max? Uh, Max is good. Max is good as hell, honestly. Um, he can he can rest the passer. He can defend the run. He has a high motor, and it's it's gonna be somebody to watch out for, I think. What's been the funnest thing about being the biggest guy on the line? <laughs> I mean, that's been everywhere I've been. So there's nothing nothing changes. <laughs> All set. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. TB77. Official TB77.com. Y'all go check that out. <laughs>